good morning everyone i hope everybody's having a perfect friday well not really perfect but a good friday i will say i'm out here in these streets uh relaxing at the park and just thinking i would have came live but my reception would be so bad so i decided to do a video this morning and then i just want to discuss a lot of stuff that well not really a lot but some stuff that's been going on on youtube that i think is just really 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 ridiculous and i'm gonna say it just like that um that i just don't understand as as grown women and as parents as grandmothers all of that how can y'all get out here and literally literally talk about a child and i'm talking about when you talk about a child in a bad way i don't understand how could you lay down at night and feel okay do y'all really just don't feel bad about talking about people's children and people, family members and deceased and all that? Like that just really is really ridiculous. I will feel like I'm really, I will feel really low. First of all, I'm not going to take myself through all that. I'm not going to do all that. I'm not going to stoop to your level because you, you want to act ignorant and look real silly. Um, and just show who you really are because what's in you going to come out. So that's just who you are. Because a lot of people would respect a lot of women that have self-respect and dignity and really care about themselves. And I really can care less what anybody think of me, but as the me, myself, and that is a God-fearing person. Because when you're a God-fearing person, you would really, really, really do things different. You know, yeah, we get out of character. Yeah, we say dumb stuff and we say stupid stuff that we should not say. But we, you really, you really will have limits and boundaries. Like some stuff you just probably know not to say. You know what I'm saying? And yes, as I said, we all say stuff when we're angry. But the go as low as to talk about somebody's child or, you know, deceased family member, I think it's just horrible. Like, do you really feel good about that? Does that really make you feel good? And then y'all was talking about hurting somebody else and doing this right here, whatever, want to cause people harm and pain and all that. I, I wouldn't want to cause nobody no harm and pain. Not like that. Because, see, one thing about it is, the same way you hurt that person, the same thing going to come back to you. You better believe it. You may not get it back right then and there, oh, but you're going to get it back. Please do not think that you're not going to get it back. You're going to get it back and probably even worse than the way you gave it. That's just how it goes. You never, you you don't always get it back the same way you did. It may not be today and it may not be tomorrow. But you best believe you're going to get it back. Just know that. So y'all need to be mindful of the things y'all come out here and say. And especially about these kids. Now let me tell you something. Now when it come down to these grown kids that come on here and, you know, get in, in grown folks mess. I always heard that when you get in grown folks mess, you need to stay out of the way. But if you want to act like you're grown, I'm going to treat you like you're grown now. I'm going to tell you that part there. Once you get in grown folks mess, you, you, I'm going to treat you just like you're grown. Now, a child supposed to be in a child's place. You think because you're a certain age that you still ain't a, 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 a child. Me, personally, I feel like a child up, up under me, I'm 46 years old. So, a, a child that's 20 some years old and all that type of stuff, you still a child to me. You still is a child to me. But you disrespect me, I promise you I'm going to disrespect you back. Just because you I actually are a grown person. So, you come on here trying to tell people what they shouldn't and shouldn't say. Don't get me wrong, we can't do that. But I'm just, all I want to know is, do you, does that really make you feel good when you're talking about somebody's child? See, one thing about these YouTube streets and any social media, that stuff going to follow, going to stay on social media. It never disappears. So, your child got to cut it on. Because, see, you may not, you may be strong. But that don't mean that your child is as strong as you. That's the thing. That's what y'all got to understand. Kids hear stuff. They, they, they. It, it may not marinate with you. It may not stick to you. But sometimes it stick to them like glue. Some of these kids, y'all get on here and say they're ugly. They look, they, they this and they that. You know, whatever. You don't never know if that child really feel like they're ugly for real. And you just help them out. And when your child around here the, the, depressed and the people kids around here depressed and all that type of good stuff. It, but it, you, you don't care about that though Y'all don't care But when something happened for real Or somebody child done lost their life Or committed suicide Because y'all done came out here And low rated them Talked about them real bad Make them feel like they ain't S-H-I-T Like they ain't nothing They're the worst looking children Or worst looking people in the streets But then Y'all want to sit up there and feel bad And for, for the people and all that type of stuff But you helped them You, you took them to their final resting place You helped them got there Y'all need to stop talking about people's children It's so immature for grown people 
to get on here and talk about people's children. You are grown. That junk is so, so, so childish. I don't get it. I just don't get it. I just see I see y'all get on here and bash people's children, bash people's children. Why why you can't just talk about the adults? Talk about how ugly they is. Talk about how fat they is. But that's just like when people talk about people's people children long time ago. When I, I'm not children, but people mamas in the streets when they was younger. When you, I mean, when you're in school, my bad. When you're in school, your mom or your mama, because you already know when you talk about somebody's mom, they're going to slap and stab in your face. <laughs> you already know it's going to be a fight. <laughs> and you know that's how people is about their children. So it's like, y'all, y'all, y'all be tripping me out though, because y'all, y'all sound so, so, so childish when y'all is going. I'm just telling you right now. I don't even see how men sit around and listen to women talk about people's children. I don't see how, no, I don't even know how to chat, sit there and egg your own talking about people's children. How the hell y'all ain't grown? Y'all had like y'all had like little children on this social media street. Dang hey man, y'all have no type of boundaries, no respect for yourself. Let's know other people, but, but for yourself, that's what I'm talking about. Child, y'all, we got to do better. We really have to do better. This, I have never known. Um, I know one person like I told you in my life that really, really do something like this right here. I don't, I just don't see how people really could just do this. Like I don't know how people live with themselves deep down inside. After they did everything they did. Okay, y'all, I'm back. My phone had um went out. I had a phone call. But anyway, as I was saying, and y'all quick to say that y'all have thick skin. Yeah, we adult, as as adults, we do have thick skin normally. Like um, you know, we don't we let stuff just roll off our back. I really, really just when I tell you, I really don't care. I really don't care what people say or think um about me or whatever. But at the end of the day, kids don't always have thick skin. They they skin is not thick as ours. You know what I'm saying? They, sometimes they don't know how to accept the fact of some things that people say. So I wouldn't want to be the reason no no child really, you know, commit suicide or do something to themselves or feel low or feel bad. Or, I had a friend that tell me yesterday that her son um, was in the car and she turned him in the store and he was looking really sad. And he told his mama that he is ugly. He just ugly. You know what I'm saying? And you know, you know they said that they said the the saying is, um, "Sticks and stone may break my bone, but words will never hurt me." Oh, that's a lie, because when especially when it come down to kids, oh oh words hurt. They hurt. Sometimes words hurt. Words they hit me. Sometimes my brother for you to hit me real quick and let's fight it out. Then back then, cause see I ain't doing all that fighting. I'm telling you right now, I'm I feel like I'm too good to fight. All that right there. I, now that part down. I feel like I'm too good to get in the, in the streets and fight as a woman. I'm too good to get in the streets and lower it myself as a woman. You see what I'm saying? I'm too good to get in here and make myself look like a fool and lower it children as a woman. You see what I'm saying? And as a mother, I just can't do that. Now, I might get out here and cut somebody out after a while, after I done got tired now, because everybody have a breaking point. So don't get me wrong. After I done got tired of hearing you talk that trash and calling me out my name, oh, I'm going to get out here and give you the business. Cause my mouth can get just as filthy as yours. And I want you to always know that don't ever get it twisted. I just try not to go there because see who I fear is the good Lord above. And see, people gotta understand what you put out is what you get back. Don't think by any chance, never ever, that you're not gonna get it back. I don't care who you think you is. You're gonna get it back. You're gonna get it back. Okay? Now, you 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 think people be wrong and all this type of stuff when they when they come back at you after y'all don't customize and call them everything but the child of God and then when they come back at you oh they wrong y'all better always know I don't care who it is when you come at somebody be ready for it when you talk about somebody negative way be ready for it so be ready for it accept it okay that it's gonna be y'all finna battle. It's just going to be a battle. That's all it's going to be. <laughs> and back and forth. And I know everybody trying to eat. So I know it, it It doesn't matter what you what people say about you on his seem like it. Um, because it's about the money. If y'all was not getting paid on here, y'all wouldn't be, y'all would not. I'm, I, I sure hope that you would not be doing all of this right here. Okay? You can't care about what these people say that you don't even really know in real life. I don't even know how y'all get on here befriending the next person. Let me tell you something. I have learned. I, I have talked to only one person on the telephone on here, and that was a learning experience for me. I don't want to talk to none other content creator on no social media streets if we're not talking real business. I don't want to get on here and talk about nobody with them. Don't come talking to me about nobody. I don't want to get friends with you because, see, for one, like I always say, when you show me who you was, I'm, I'm going to believe it.
Ain't no way in hell I'm going to go behind the scenes and talk to somebody when I already know how you are. That is so dumb. What you think that you different? I'm just trying to figure out, do you think you different from anybody else? You think that, that you ain't going to get the same treatment? A lot of times when these people get mad at you, boy, they out your whole dirty laundry. But you sit down and have a pillow talk with them. Almost like you do when you're in the bed with your man. Because you got to be watch, you gotta watch what you say to them too. Because men flip on you just as well as women. Literally. They flip on you just as well. So trust me, I'm mindful of what I tell a man. Just as well as the, you think, especially a woman. <laughs> especially a woman. <laughs> Period. Y'all better, be, better wake up and smell the coffee. <laughs> y'all better wake up and smell the coffee. I don't know who told y'all y'all was different when y'all know how a person is. A person, if a person get on here and they, they mouth run like a faucet about the next person's business, you think that doesn't go one like yours too? Straight like water, straight. Everything he done said, they're going to come back and be your friendly reminder. Y'all got to have common sense on these streets right here. Boy, I ain't trying to fool these people like that. But anyway, the moral of this conversation is stop. Y'all should stop talking about people's children. That's that's really what I'm talking about because I don't care nothing about what how y'all feel. Listen, all of us got some type of something going on. Hell, y'all see how fat I am over here. I need to lose some weight, y'all. But honey, that's fixable. But child, and actually, I'm, I'm on the verge of trying. I've been trying for years, y'all. But anyway, y'all, child. Anyway, um, you know some stuff, but some you, you can lose weight. If you fat, you can lose weight. But some stuff you can't change. Your facial, your facial appearance, you can't change. And we all know some people cute, some people ugly. But you could be the cutest person in the world and be the ugliest person for real because your insides is not good. You got a, you got a, a black heart, okay? So looks really, really don't matter. You can find the ugliest person in the world and be the sweetest person. They look really cute because they have a pure, nice heart. They treat people right. Y'all better stop getting out here because I'm telling you right now. Yeah, right now it seems like everything ain't nobody getting no payback, ain't nothing coming back, nobody they just doing whatever. Oh, but trust me, when God gets tired, boy, I'm telling you, everybody gonna wish that when these when these YouTube streets get crazy, y'all gonna know there's some really some God done came through. Cause you you ain't gonna be able to keep doing this to people. Y'all not gonna be able to keep doing it. God take care of fools and babies. And I told y'all a hundred times, and we all know that, but he take care of his fools and babies. Y'all ain't gonna be able to keep talking about these churn and think that you ain't gonna get it back. When, when when the hurricane come through your house and you gonna wonder why the hell your house your house the only house on the block that the hurricane done hit and I ain't talking about a real hurricane I'm talking about all type of hell break loose in your house or, or something in your in your life he just that's just your friendly reminder you reaping what you sow <laughs> just know you gonna reap what you sow okay <laughs> trust me I'm a firm believer in that that's why I try to be mindful. But anyway, y'all, I just had to come out here and talk trash about talking about these kids because that, that really, really, really bothered me. Yes, I know I have the right to not listen to it. And a lot of times, I don't listen to it. I hear it for a minute and get the hell up off of them. I do not want to hear nobody talking about nobody. God dang on children. That it is not these children's fault that the parents or whoever's getting on social media acting ignorant. It's not the kids' fault. Why do the kids have to be talked about or brought up in a negative way? Now, if you're just saying, yeah, she's not a good parent and she do her child like this right here or whatever, whatever. Okay, yeah, you just talking about what they're doing or whatever. I don't feel like that's talking about nobody's child. You just talking about, okay, well, she ain't doing this right by her child. Okay, that's fact. You just saying that. But when you get to bashing people's children, talking about how ugly they is and all this type of stuff, y'all better stop that. Y'all got to stop that right there. I'm just saying, y'all, y'all, y'all crazy. That means that y'all got a very black heart. You have a black heart. When you do that, you you not you, you got to have a black card. Because how do you do it? Are you remorseful? Do you really feel some type of way after you get off of the social media? Or why are you saying it? I don't know, y'all. Uh-uh. That's why I try to stay in my lane and, and don't do all that right there. I'm just, I, I refuse to be dealing with that type of stuff right there. I, I just think it's, it's sad. But once you, once you stop it and you pray, let God handle it, I guarantee you'll see change. As soon as you let go and say, God, you know what? I'm going to let you fix this right here. Stop responding. Stop dealing with all that right there. I guarantee you'll see change. But the, the more, but see, it's about the money. It's about the money. And that's what the devil's using with y'all. It's really, really about the money. But I don't know. I, I feel like it's, I'd rather have self-respect and to let God bless me for doing what's right than let the devil lead me any kind of way he want to lead me and i'm following his and following his lead because that's exactly what you're doing you're following behind the devil that's a, all that stuff is an act of the devil that is not of god at all period that's why i say you can't be god fearing for real because boy when you god fearing you do things way different really different in your life okay and lord knows i feel i really do 
I suggest y'all try God. Because if you didn't, you ain't try him like you should try him. Because if you did, you would do things different. <laughs>